But that's okay guys, because today is kitchen cabinet counter day. Well, kitchen counter cabinet framing day. So, ow! That was a rude rock. <laughs> Hey guys, this is the kitchen area um, all the way back. So you see where that broom is? That's the edge of the shower. There's a wall right there. Countertop comes across there and along this wall over the fridge. That is where the fridge will be. Uh, between that wall and the fridge is the sink. It's an undermount sink. Then here we have an L-shaped bar that comes through and out. Uh, between the fridge and the corner, there's a little bit of storage and a trash can. I'm putting the trash can, I'm cutting a hole out, I'm building a hole into the countertop. So the trash can is underneath there, so all the trash can just go through the countertop. Um, so that will be underneath there, and with some storage, from food storage. Then this is a bar that comes out. <clears throat> I will have three stools here, which... Um, It'll be a little tight, but I mean, it's a bus. <laughs> so if I have two visitors, you know, we might have to eat just like, you know, a slightly closer. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and in that little thing right there, that little box, uh, my oven, it, that's where it'll be facing out. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to put any uh, overhead <laughs> storage yet. I just don't know. I want to see how it feels. I am tall and I didn't extend the roof on the bus, so I don't have a lot of clearance and I don't want it to feel claustrophobic up here in tall dude land. So I'm worried that if I put little cabinets in the corner that it's going to make this whole little galley way, alley, whatever you want to call it, I'm worried it's going to make it feel like ugh, and like cramped, you know? So I don't know about that yet. but. Right now, we're just focusing on framing out these cabinets and maybe even getting the countertop on, which is it gonna be a concrete countertop. Oh, that's too heavy for a bus. First of all, this bus is made, like too heavy for a bus, like maybe isn't a thing. It is a thing, but it's not the biggest concern in the world. The only concern weight-wise, in Missouri at least, is if my weight is over 26,000 pounds, I have to have a CDL. Anyway, why are we talking about weight of my bus? Concrete countertops. Uh, they make a lightweight concrete that is not poured. It is like, like, um, like plastered almost. It's concrete. It's hard like concrete, but you put it on other surfaces as opposed to pouring it into a mold and letting it, uh, you know, like get hard like concrete does. So anyway, the countertop will be, the, 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 the base will be plywood, really, really thick plywood, like one inch, three quarter, I don't know, really thick plywood. And then the concrete will go uh, on all of the plywood. So we'll get there later. Today, let's frame this stuff out. First, I gotta tidy up. Okay, tidying up wasn't as much as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so, um, I just gotta do a bunch of measuring and then we're gonna start cutting. I, I have to start by making a box over this wheel well, which is gonna kinda be a pain in the butt, but. Um, it's a pain in the butt, but. <laughs> it's gonna be a pain in the butt, but. It is gonna be a pain in the butt, but I. Uh, I have to do it. And I have to do it, I have to do it. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, I've got a shower wall that is not lined up with the braces of the bus. So I'm gonna have to put some cross beams in here. I'm using these suckers. These are these crazy self-driving screws. That, you know what, they actually don't look that big on camera but they are, they're huge, and they're really hard to get through, up, and in here. But, don't you worry your little head about a thing, because I got her handled, I think. It's gonna be a little loose where it goes. It's gonna go right there. Oh, I gotta get my muscles ready. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 
Oh, it's not even going in a little bit. It went in a little bit. Ooh, whoa. Ouch! Woo! Ouch! <laughs> I got a little, uh, little piece of metal shaving came off. Got me hand. Luckily, I'm what? Super tough. With two Fs. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take her home. Oh no. Maybe we're gonna take a little detour first before we take her home. That did not want to go up in there. Okay. Wrong way. strip my screw <laughs> and it's gonna be hotter than a fritter so I gotta find something to use to grab it to get it out of there because it's gonna be hot hmm. <laughs> how about some sandpaper not what this is for ah oh, cut myself And I had a scare with my solar system today. Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm about to do some crazy videos about my solar system. It's so overwhelming. Luckily the company that I bought it from is just, they're freaking amazing. They've been awesome, because I'm a real idiot with it. And they've been just real peaches about the whole thing. All right, let's get this, uh, let's try to take her home this time. We're going the right way, we're going the right way. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh. Man, I don't know. There is something in there. And this does not want to turn. Oh, I can see it. It's like bulging. Man, what's... What is this all about? All right. <clears throat> okay, I did it. Yes. All right. Was harder than it should have been. Man, this blood's really going everywhere. I don't know what I did. Is this gross? I did it. I probably didn't have to make that slurping sound though, did I? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna quit yapping and get this done. I gotta get this finished up. See, these are hard to get in here. Oh, I was gonna stop talking, wasn't I? All right, here we go. caffeinated today got lots of things to say pretty jazzed <laughs> I probably could have cooled it after three cups but I did not no I did not cool it after three cups so now you're really
you're really getting a talking to. You're really getting a monologue here. Earl monologues. Okay. I think this is going to be really easy now that I change the bit, so let's find out. Stop talking here. This is going to be a 30 minute video. So, this is all I got done <laughs> in like two hours. It's like four beams, but it was actually a little trickier than it looks. Um, this is where the plumbing will go inside here because my shower head comes out right here. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, and this was needed for plumbing and I hopefully will have a little bit of storage space right here. But again, we had uh, we had some vertical beams that had to be attached not to these main steel braces. And so, as you can see, it was kind of a thing. So, um, I'm not done for the day, but this video is already too long. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to cut off here and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can. Subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.